Hello. It's been a little time since I posted a video, so I thought uh, I'd do one now to show you what's been going on uh, for the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, not a lot, if I'm honest. Um, partly because I had a really bad toothache and had to have a tooth extracted. Um, and partly because I was dithering about what I should paint next. So I painted some uh, odd figures I had from the paint pile uh, and added them to existing armies. And uh, I also did some rebasing of my Egyptians. Um, and that kind of led me to where I am today and what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, talk you through where we are. Well, painting the uh, Canaanite chariot um, so I set something off in me that uh, I thought it would be quite nice to get the Egyptians and Canaanites on the table. And that led to uh, painting another element of uh, Canaanite infantry. I had 23 uh, elements painted. Um, 24 is a much nicer number, so I found three more figures and painted those up. And then I looked at my Egyptians and thought I could do with some rebasing. So uh, I've kind of taken some of the old bases off and replaced them. Uh, and this is now the army as it stands. Um, in doing that, I also found that uh, I had no terrain at all for the biblical period in 28mm. So, I uh, ordered some of these uh, palm trees from the internet uh, and based them up. I went out and bought some uh, beige uh, binders, uh, bias binding tape, 50 millimeters wide for the road, and scratch built the walls of, in this case, Megiddo. Um, now, I know they're not strictly historical. The gate should probably be more of an elliptical arch, and the pointed uh, crenellations should probably be more rounded at the top and maybe the stone should go up to the level of the battlements. Um, but it kind of does the job. It's not going to be used in the game as such. It's there as a backdrop. Having done that, um, I then had to hunt around and find some rules that I was comfortable with. Um, to my mind, very little that's available deals particularly well with the biblical period and chariots in particular. Um, I know there are a lot of people who like Hail Caesar uh, and several other sets, but they just it just doesn't have the right feel for me. So I uh, had a hunt around and came across a set produced by uh, a guy called Graham Evans, uh, To Err is Human. They're more specifically they're for the Sumerian period, but I also found uh, a blog which had some additions that would make them suitable for chariot warfare. And I thought I'd give those a go. So the table is laid out for To Err is Human. Um, I'm going to move the camera a bit to show you a few more of the uh, uh, troops in situ um, and then we can talk a bit more. It's looking uh, along the line with Pharaoh Tutmosis III in his chariot there in the, uh, the centre of the screen. Um, Megiddo is an interesting battle. It's one of the first, if not the first in history, that we have a written account for. And it's carved onto the walls of uh, Tutmos' uh, temple. And basically, it talks of the campaign that the pharaoh undertook in uh, in ancient Canaan uh, to try and bring the various cities back under Egyptian control. Um, 
the information we have tells that uh, the Canaanites assembled a force under the king of Megiddo uh, to confront the pharaoh and were waiting for the Egyptian army to arrive and that there were three routes that could bring the Egyptian army to Megiddo. Uh, a left-hand route and a right-hand route which were relatively easy um, and that was the way that the Canaanites expected the Pharaoh to come but there was a third route between the two which at some points got very narrow um, and was unsuitable for chariotry and the Canaanites discounted this and did not guard it but Tukmas the third used that route um, the, at some points it said that the soldiers had to go in single file that they had to dismantle the chariots and carry them um, but by using this route he was able to get right before Megiddo without opposition um, and the Canaanites had to hurry back from the positions they'd taken at guarding the other two routes um, the details on the battle are not very great um, it talks of uh, being in three commands effectively with the pharaoh in charge of the central command and it talks of the Canaanites being defeated and uh, having to flee back to the city uh, and had the Egyptians pursued rather than trying stopping to loot the uh, the dead and the the baggage I guess they might have ended the war there as it was the main protagonists were able to get back to Megiddo uh, which had closed its gates it seems because they had to be hauled into the city on ropes um, and Ramses then had to a siege to the city uh, which took a fair amount of time before he could successfully conclude this campaign. I'm now going to move around to the Canaanite position. And here we have the Canaanite line. Um, we have some light infantry in the little woods uh, flanked by a chariot tree and under the walls of Megiddo there's more infantry. Uh, Megiddo was built on a substantial mound uh, called a tell, uh, very steep, so uh, infantry uh, would feel quite safe uh, from the Egyptian territory uh, in that position. Here's the uh, Canaanite line from the other side of the table. The uh, blue pyramid uh, visible in the background is actually the uh, bedside table lamp. Um, hmm. Yeah, kind of stands out a bit. <laughs> now, a little bit about the rules. Well, these are the rules I'm going to be trying out. Now, there are a couple of things in here which uh, I'll say immediately. Um, the first is it uses a grid-based uh, table. And apart from uh, one circumstance, only one unit is allowed to be in any one of the squares in the grid. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, and you'll see that uh, there are little MDF circles that I've used to mark out the grid. They're quite obtrusive. Uh, obviously I could have done it uh, less obtrusively, but I didn't want to mark up my uh, gaming mat. Um, mm. The second is that uh, 
A lot of it is based on what the rules call uh, the fear test, which is a relative test. How does how do the units opposing each other feel about uh, their chances, if you, if you like? Um, it looks quite an interesting mechanic, uh, and I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I'll play out a couple of uh, turns, uh, nothing particularly fancy, not a great deal of manoeuvring, just moving units around and see how I feel uh, about the rules at the end of it. Um, and I'll let you know next time I uh, do a video how it worked out. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me again next time.